Oh, hello there. So I want to do something a little bit different. I want to go over how to manage your presets on your timeline with Strymon's little preset library and software thing. Um, not because it's difficult to do or understand or anything like that. It's just in case maybe you didn't know it existed. And it is extremely useful, or at least I have found it to be so. So all you need for this is timeline, obviously. A computer, obviously, doesn't have to be a laptop, but just any computer with a USB interface. And you need a little cable like this guy that will go from MIDI to USB, the MIDI of your timeline. I really like this little Mio thing from iConnectivity. Connectivity? Connectivity? Whatever. Uh, it's only about 30 bucks, and it's super easy to use. Um, and all you have to do is this. I'm going to unplug this. I have one of these little disaster area controllers for the timeline that I need to unplug. So you just take the in of the little MIDI interface and you connect it to the out on your timeline and vice versa with the out to the in. And then you put the other end into the USB port on your computer. All right, the next step is you come over here to your computer and you fire up the preset librarian. Again, I'll put a link to this um, on Strymon's page down below the video. Um, so you may have to do an initial like kind of MIDI setup thing, which is super easy. But once it is, it'll recognize which version of the timeline software you have. It'll even recognize which pedal you've plugged in. Then you just hit this fetch button and it grabs uh, your presets from your timeline. And the thing I find that this whole deal especially useful for is in like a church and worship song context because you tend to have an awful lot of songs and you could easily make use of uh, most, if not even all, sometimes of the uh, preset spaces, all the 200 of them on your timeline there. So this is a really great way to um, save the base kind of presets of a lot of the songs you do or easily all of them at any given context for the most part. And then you can just load them up pretty simply each week as you need them, which lets you spend more time practicing and less time dialing in the perfect delay sound, which I know for most of us is probably the most beneficial thing we could do. More practice, less obsessing over nuances of exactly how things are set. So miniature soapbox over <laughs> and on to this. So you'll see here on the left, this is what's on your timeline currently. And on the right, this mirrors it, but this is just the list that you can work from to make changes. You can rename and move and um, change a bunch of different things. So, for example, I know that the first song we have for this week is this song, Let Me Feel You Shine. So if I hit move, I can just swap that with the first song in my set. I just load what we typically do five songs a week, so I'll just load the five songs we're doing in the first five spots and piece of cake. Uh, let's see, the next one is this one. We'll swap that with the second spot, which I didn't do. <laughs> do that again. Swap it with the second one there. There we go. And then we're doing this one third. Swap it there. Yeah, I keep I keep messing that up. And then the next song is one that I don't yet have a preset for, so I'll just go to the next factory one that I haven't used and swap that in the fourth spot instead. Then just go ahead and rename it to Where I Belong is the name of that song. Rename that and then that'll be in place on the timeline with the name already there and then all I have to do is save the uh, change the setting uh, the actual settings of that delay and it's already named for me and it's already in place and then uh, later it'll be saved for later use and then the last song this week is this one in the fifth spot so there we go once that's all in place I got my five songs set there um, then you just hit this sync button and poof, mirrors it. Uh, another thing that I like to do, um, even if I don't use delay on a song, like I don't actually think I use delay on these first two songs at all, but 
Um, I like having, since I have space and I haven't run out of presets yet, I like having them there anyway. It sort of serves as a um, miniature set list also, alleviating the need for any sort of printed set list or anything like that. So that can be useful from time to time too. And uh, another cool thing this thing will let you do is save your presets. Um, you can save single presets or... Um, you can save all your presets and I just typically after I make changes each week I'll just back them all up to this same file I have saved up on my Google Drive there and uh, if anything ever happens you can just reload all your presets right the way they were or you can um, like a lot of uh, more established artists that use timelines or guitarists I mean will share their whole libraries with people uh, so you can use exact patches that like um, a bunch of different guys use and that's really cool to kind of see how they're dialing in the way a song sounds different than you and um, that's something I would like to explore more of but just haven't gotten a chance to yet so anyways there you go that's the Strymon preset librarian again I'll link it up in the video below it's super easy to install it's free it's a great tool for managing a whole lot of presets on your timeline and getting a lot of use out of it backing it up etc so hope that was useful if you want to learn a few more little how-to random tricks and stuff, you can subscribe to the channel or if you want to see gear demos, etc. That's all there for you if you want to do that. Thanks for watching and that's all I have to say. So bye-bye.